Hey there, CIS. 277, welcome to session 7. In this session, we will cover chapter 11, which is the C++ structure. For those of you who have had other programming languages like Java, for instance, you will notice a similarity here between a class and a structure. Let me just foreshadow a little bit here. Um, I will tell you that a class and a structure in C++ are not the same. They have to do with access and what can use a structure. Um, a structure is a public, um, I, I can't use the word structure here, um, but it is public by default, which means that outside of its scope, other members can access it, which can be a problem. For us, in you know, inside of the code that we will see here for the week, it is absolutely not a problem. But we will come back to the idea of a class and how that is different and better a little bit further down the line. But for here, this is our first foray with C++ into object-oriented design. We are finally going to say, okay, look, with this structure, why don't we, as a developer, really start to define a thing? And I know a thing is a shitty word, but it's true. It's something that you can point to. It is an abstract of a tangible entity that is of value to your organization. It's hard to say what that might be. We will follow two examples through this chapter. We will look at an employee and we will look at a student because you are both of those things. You will also notice by the time you are done with all of these and you get to the end of chapter exercises that there are only two of them. That is not a mistake. That is correct. They are... Um, lengthier than some of the previous course or the end of chapter exercises. So I thought I would keep it rational um, with those. So as always, if you have any questions, do reach out uh, and otherwise start hitting the material for chapter 11, Structures. <laughs> 